Hi folks, it's Nick here and I hope you're prepared because we're reviewing an 8-bit football game and 8-bit football games don't tend to be very good. But anyway, hopefully this is the exception. This is Gary Lineker's Superstar Soccer where you must guide your team through a season for promotion, get to Division 1 and win. You can recruit players, trade players, improve your team, go through different divisions, it's all there. But uh, essentially, the gameplay, you just control one man, um, which is, I presume is Gary. Uh, it also come out on the Amstrad CPC and the Commodore 64. How much do I want to spend on training? Well, I don't think I've got any, so we're going to have to get out of here as quickly as we can. Now, based on the uh, player, of course, Gary Lineker, who currently hosts Match of the Day. This is by Gremlin Graphics in 87, if I didn't mention it. Um, Gary uh, had um, 80 England caps, scored 48 goals between 1984 and 1992. And he's well renowned for never ever receiving a yellow or red card throughout his whole career. So hopefully I don't ruin it for him in this game. We won't be doing a full season, right? So you can have it all automated if you want, like a management game, but we'll have the uh, centre forward on joystick. Uh, the coaching decisions we'll let the computer do because I don't want to mess about with um, positional play and all that sort of stuff. And um, we'll just try and play. Right, okay, so here are the lads. It's going to be hard to see who's who because everyone seems to be the same colour. I'm on the left hand side and I'm controlling the amazing Gary Lineker. Right, here I am. Whoops, whoa. So I can wander around the place. Right, let's muck about. This is going to be the great set piece of all time. This is ridiculous. Right, I can go wherever I want. I don't need to kick off. Surely the referee's going to catch up here. Uh, you'll see a power bar going up and down the middle. Right, this is going to be the greatest goal of all time, I think. Right, let's go. The ball sticks to your foot. Let's weave around like a crazy man. Oh, he's right through. He's right through around him. There we go. Shoot. A scene. Go. Well, you know, we play for Holford and we're beating Swansea. That was the most ridiculous goal I've ever seen. And this is pretty much how the gameplay is going to go, folks. Hooray! Now, Gary Lineker played for Leicester City, then Everton, then Barcelona, then Tottenham, then uh, Grampus 8 in Japan, and had to retire because people kept treading on his toe, apparently, and his toe got injured because he was a goal hanger. Um, I'm sh well, a little bit. All the top goal scorers are goal hangers to a degree. Right, now, I'm only controlling one man, and I can't see where Gary's gone now. Where is Gary? How did they score there? So it's one all. This game's quite funny, it's moving a lot quicker uh, than the uh, previous football game we reviewed, Super Soccer, so it's much better than that, but controlling one man is a problem. Let's do our set piece again. Right, so we diagonal here. Come on Gary, there's no dot above his head, so we can easily lose him amongst the crowd. Both teams are in black. Oh, why didn't that go in? I passed it to the guy over there unintentionally, but he should have scored. Did you have this game back in the day? Let me know. There are so many terrible 8-bit football games. But this one isn't too bad, to be fair. You can see the time ticking down, 43 minutes. There's no way... I should have changed that. There's no way we're playing a whole half. I can't play 90 minutes of this. Sometimes you seem to control your own goalkeeper. Sometimes you don't. But graphically, it's good. It moves fast. And... Um, I would like the teams in different colours. Uh, match day had different colours, but moved really slow. There's Gary there. Right, good. Come on, Gary. I've got to do it all myself. Come on, shoot. Or you could just try and walk it in. I don't know why I passed over there. I didn't intend to. So the game probably works better as a managerial type game if you don't want to do the games themselves. But the engine itself, playing football in an 8-bit system, is good. There were a trilogy of Gary Lineker games. Not saying that we're going to come to all of them in this Gary Lineker trilogy. Uh, there's Gary Lineker's Super Skills, which is more like fitness, I think. And then Gary Lineker's Hot Shot, which I'm told... Oh, man, you can score amazing goals. Gary Lineker has got an OBE for services to football and not getting a yellow or red card. I'm not sure if he'd do that in the modern day era. But uh, hopefully I'll get an OBE by um, reviewing this game. What do you think? Yeah, so they're winning 2-1. This isn't looking good. Look at that, and really, in real time, we've only played three minutes. If you was a fan of the game, you'd say this is the most exciting game you played of all time. Right, Gary's going for a bit of a weave. Do you remember this back in his day, this set piece? Pass to no one. Right. Go, Gary, go. Go, go. Go, Gary. Go, go, go. Gary, be good. Go, Lineker. 
Like 45 degrees. Oh, we missed it. That, oh, the downfall. Man. Now, Gary said a few seasons ago, famously, when Leicester win the league, earlier on he said, if Leicester win the league, he'll present match of the day in his underpants. And uh, Leicester did win. They were 5,000 to 1 to do so. They must have had a cheat mode activated. Uh, so Gary followed through. Uh, well, not in his pants. He followed He followed through with the bet and uh, presented it in his underpants. He's an all-round good geezer. And um, advertiser of Walker's Crisps. Boom. Um, will I get any free crisps for saying that? I hope so. The game is okay. Let me know what you think of it. Um, as I say, the one thing that would make this game better if there was a sort of scanner on the pitch that tells you where Gary is because you're only controlling him um, it's quite easy to lose him like where is he now? he's somewhere off the screen the goalkeeper dives like a hoodlum what's going on here? I'd like to see how the penalties work in this <laughs> oh man, get the ball you stupid keeper this is good fun, but I don't think it'd be heaps of fun for weeks and weeks and weeks I think you'll grow tired of it in a few days right where is Gary? He's up the top there, is that him? Oh, I don't know where Gary was then. Maybe he's gone on his tea break. Definitely need a dot above Mr Lineker's head here. So I'm thinking I'm controlling one person, then the computer does it, and it's obviously not him. Where is he? It's like, where's the gap? Where's Gary going? Gremlin Graphics, 1987. Well done for attempting it. Now, a lot of you suggested games I should have a look at. Uh, it's the World Cup going on at the time of recording, so we'll have a look at a few of them. But there are so many suggested, we probably won't have a look at all of them. I don't want to turn the channel into just a football channel, but we will have a look uh, at them. But there's just so many. And all different degrees of terribleness. This one isn't too bad, I'm pleased to say. Great bit. Right, here we go. Super Soccer, have a look at that. Hasn't aged particularly well, that one. Not too super. Holford 1, Swansea 2, can we equalise? That's what everyone's saying that's still watching, which is probably not many people. But look at this. How could you play a full season on 90 minutes? The spectrum would be pretty hot after that, I could tell you. Goal! That wasn't me that scored that. It was one of my players. But it's made it 2 all anyway. Yes. I wonder if Gary got any money for this. I think his face is on the, uh, the cassette box. But he was very popular in the day, Gary Lineker. Barcelona. There weren't many players back in the day, or still, that got to play abroad. The English Premiership at the moment, just I think there's only about... There isn't many English players that play in that. So that makes the England team not many people to select. So it sort of like picks itself, to be honest. Right, defend this bloke. I don't want him running through. Whoa, you missed it, you fool. Well, you only need to get the ball on target, it seems, and you've got a pretty good chance of scoring. 2-2. Two, two. You see at the bottom there, attack, mix, defend, cover. If, if I was doing the, the coaching manually, uh, every time there's a kick-off or a throw-on, you've got the option to change that or change position of your players. We want more of an arcade feel here. So hopefully I'm giving you a bit of an idea of uh, how good this game is, or bad this game is, wherever you want to look at it. So if you've got an emulator or a real life spectrum and you're confused about the amount of football games available, you know whether you want to load this one up or not. Um, the, the consensus seems to be on the spectrum that the best ones are Match Day and Match Day 2 and Emlyn Hughes. Um, I wasn't a big fan of Match Day, so I'm in the minority there, but what that did, uh, this one isn't doing, which I mentioned before, is that it had different colours of the team. You can certainly see who's who. This one all gets a bit of a bit mixed up in the monochrome here. Haven't played Emlyn Hughes on the Spectrum, played it on the Amiga, a little bit tricky, but fun to see. Ooh, good save, but he doesn't hold on to it. Man. I like to see games with a white football, but I guess there might be a bit of colour clash if they did that, and I, I'm guessing that's why all the players are the same colour as well, just for colour clash reasons. But if you've got two teams in the same colours, and they've all got the same hairstyle, and you're trying to find one player in 22 who you're controlling, that makes it very awkward to see what's going on. I mean, when was the last time we saw Gary in this game? He's there somewhere. Where is he? Let me know if you see him and I can start controlling him. When there's a throw on, he might have a chance of coming back on the pitch. Right, I don't even know who that was. Swansea or Holford? Who are Holford? I know Halfords, but that isn't a football team. That, that was a department store that sold car stuff. 
Here come the team. We take the goal kicks. Boof. Up the field. 2 all. The game is in the balance. We won't be playing the rest of the 38 minutes. We'll just be playing until we can take no more. Which might be quite soon. Um, mm, Righty-o. There, there's a few football games which had uh, licenses of uh, real-life players. There's Gasco in there as well. Emlyn Hughes that we've mentioned. Peter Shilton, I've been told to have a look at as a bad game. Peter Shilton's World Cup Maradona, I think it's called. So, uh, you yeah, know. We'll try and cover a few as the World Cup's going on or shortly afterwards. Uh, boom. No sound in the game apart from the... <laughs> <laughs> no, no sound in the game apart from the the cheers of the crowd and the goalkeeper's whistle. What happened there? The ball, the ball in slow motion went underneath the legs of the keeper. Ah, oh, that was the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen since the penalty uh, in the Super Soccer review. Have a look at that one. Have a look at that one if you haven't already. Oh man, craziness! Great times, 1980s, 8-bit football games. Ah, uh, so so funny now. Maybe I should do a top 10 bad ones, uh, but there's a lot of competition to get into that. Oof. But as always, as always, if um, you had these sort of games as a kid and you sunk quite a lot of time in it, you would have memories attached to this game. So uh, so keep those memories. Don't automatically think your memories are wrong. If you grew up with like, Super Soccer and you thought it was great, it's still great as far as you're concerned because it's, it's what it represents as well as the game. Sentimental value. Can't replace that. I didn't have this one back in the day, but I think I would have liked it. Uh, Super Soccer, maybe not as much. Right, apparently kickoff and, and maybe kickoff twos on the ZX Spectrum as, as well. Um, I did try and re uh, view kickoff once, and it was so bad I couldn't get a review out of it. So maybe, maybe we can have another go. But uh, it's not as good as this. Okay, right. Good old Gary. He put his name to a good one here. Uh, and when I say good, I mean relatively compared to all the other football games. Could there have been a FIFA without this? Well, probably. Corner, red on green. Attacking, mixed, defence. I don't think we can go on much longer, but there's a corner. Let's see how that works out. Goalkeeper's position in a very weird place. Move, keeper! Of course, someone could have just headed that in. I don't think there are headers in this game. But the mechanics are good, what there is. Remember, the Spectrum uh, 48K is controlling a lot of things on screen at the same time. It's got to calculate the ball, the position of all the players, where Gary is. so And it's also got to scroll the pitch. So it's very impressive from that. And also that bar thing in the middle and the time ticking down. So it's doing loads. Right. That isn't Gary, by the way. That's someone else running up. And he's, oh, he's passed it back. Why has that happened? Maybe that bar something to do with direction as well. Come on, get it up to Gary. There's Gary, I think there, is it? Right, throw it on. Boom. So we've seen you've seen five goals. That's pretty good going for a review, isn't it? Five goals. Oh, ooh. Oh, there, I think that was Gary. I seem to be controlling him then, but the goalkeeper saved it. Uh, there's no offsides in this, so I'll keep Gary in goal-hanging position, so hopefully one of my players can boot it up to him and we score. But I can't take too much more, to be honest, and I don't think you can either. Burb. Yes, I think we'll leave that one there, so I hope you liked having a look at that one. That was Gary Lineker's Superstar Soccer, published by Gremlin Graphics in 1987. It's a good game, but only compared to all the other 8-bit football games on the spectrum, so take, take what you want from that. Um, if you've got any comments about this game, any similar games, or anything retro, then please put that below. You're always welcome, and that adds a bit of activity to the channel. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing, and to those people that have, a huge, huge thank you. I really mean that. If you want to help the channel a bit more, there's patreon.com slash njenkin. Until next time, take great care of yourself, and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.